And we're into video three now. Um, uh, I'm gonna take this call. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna take that call. We'll just let it go through. Blah 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 blah. Talk 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 talk. Let's let's get on the. Let's work on telecommunication and get off all this technology. Okay, so this is in video three, and um, that's pretty much what I want to say about what's going on now. Uh, those who knew me in the 90s and early 2000s or all my life knew I was a spiritual warrior as well as a physical warrior. They didn't understand the extent of what I was doing, and I wasn't sure I understood it, but I realized now exactly what I was doing. And um, uh, in 2009, Archangel Michael, at the 999 gate activation, I was told to come out and speak publicly again. I had not, um, since I had gotten married and my daughter was born, I became very refrained because so many of the shaman, uh, medicine men, light warriors, those exposed in the Illuminati were getting removed from the game. And uh, I also knew I had, um, had a big part to play in the end times. And that's part of why I did not activate during that part of time was because I had to activate when the rest of the planet was ready to activate for the 40-day events and get enough people to join those 40-day events to to have the 144,000 activated people on planet right now. And um, that's not spiritual ego, that's just what happened. Uh, in 2009, I was told to quit my projections, which keep the spiritual warfare going in every war, every battle, Anytime you fight, if you're not shadow boxing, if you're really fighting, you've got to have an opponent who is also willing to fight and play that game. And Archangel Michael said, no, it's time to quit. And uh, at that point, um, expressing the process of chakra activation that I could only do by going through it myself and you can only teach something if you've done it yourself, otherwise you're just guessing at it. Well, I was told that that's where I needed to center my focus was on completing my activations and teaching the process that I've gone through. Granted, it could be different for everybody as how to, but um, the process, the, the, the step by step is gonna be the same for pretty much everybody. And you cannot go on to the next level until you've completed the last level. It's just like being able to take your final exams in, in a certain grade and go to the next level. You've got to, you've got to complete the process. But that's what I was told was to quit fighting, to start the process, and to get as many people as I could to join, um, which the light that we would be bringing to Earth and being able to channel through Earth by doing our initiations by activating our light bodies and by activating ourselves and allowing the negative energies to flow through us as conduits to, to release that and to bring in more light. Um, that was the thing that was most critical. And um, also exposing the Illuminati, um, exposing what's going on because it's all just a battle of duality and when people that's that's their awakening process to wake up you have to realize what's going on and there's a process and first you're going to deny it and then second you're going to see it and go oh, oh. <laughs> it's hitting the fan third you're going to um get angry and fourth you're going to become an activist and then fifth you're really going to go, you can realize that, you know, you can't do it from the outside and you've got to do it from the inside. And then that's when you truly become empowered. When you realize that the only way to change the illusion on the exterior is by the interior. And um, 
there's a lot of people that aren't at that point. They're still playing the fourth dimensional games. And these people that I had the problems with that actually showed me where I need to focus on and showed, you know, what level they are on. They're playing in the fourth dimensional level. Yeah, they understand that they're connected to source and um, they are also thinking that they can change it by changing the outside. They're thinking that that illusion is real and they don't understand that it is all an illusion that's created from inside. So, and that all changes when you get heart chakra activated. <laughs> but anyway, what happens is, as these people awaken, um, they get one eye open and they go, oh, the Illuminati's out there. Ugh, man, it looks bad. They're, they're really, um, they're going to come down. They're going to try to kill us. We better run. We better hide. And then you open both eyes and you go, wow, it's all about spiritualism. And then you begin activating. And yeah, um, with both eyes open, we know that we need to change this planet. We can only do it by changing it spiritually. And then what happens is you activate all the seven original chakras. You take that sixth initiation and you learn that it's all on the inside. You begin to feel. And guess what? Close your eyes again. You start to feel. And you start to see. And you start to hear. And then you can call it forth. And you can feel it, and you're connected to the field, and through the fourth dimension to Mother Earth through the sacral, or through humanity through that sacral, and then Mother Earth through the through the root. And you close your eyes because you can really see. <laughs> Isn't that a trip? <laughs> That's what's going on. It's exactly what's going on. And um, a lot of people, they think they open their eyes and. You know, the Illuminati's out there, and this is the world, and it's tangible. We can touch it, and it's real. And um, it's not real. It's not. And we don't change it by going and hiding in survival groups and grabbing a bunch of guns and food and trying to be the last person standing. That's not going to change this planet. That's not going to take us where we need to go. It's not going to take us... We're, we're prophesied we're going. That's not going to take us where those of us that are in touch with the unity grid are seeing is happening. That is uh, it's a totally different ball game. Right now, those in 3D, their world is coming apart. Um, 3D and 4D, you still, you're living in your head. You're living in your ego. And you're thinking that you can control. You're thinking that you're special because you identify with yourself. I'm Bill Ballard. I'm so special. Ooh, look at me. I can tell you what to do. That's bullshit. It's, it's not, that's not the truth. Um, you can't change the world that way. <laughs> and, um, you know, the more you realize how this works, the more you realize the way to expand is to go as far as you can to center inside, in your heart, in that balance point, in that sacred spot. The more you go, the smaller you get, the more defined that becomes. You know, you're going down to literally atomic levels there. What happens is the implosion, boom! That's what goes, you know? It's, it's getting to the smallest point of view to expand. And I know that a lot of people can't get that. Try to get it from here. Don't try to get it from here. Try to get it from here. And you, you might have a better understanding if you can do that. Um, learn to feel. You know, that one eye open, that's when you're just now seeing what's going on out there in the illusion. Both eyes open, you realize that it's spiritual. Close your eyes. Learn to hear what the illusion is telling you. Learn to hear what Source and all the Masters and all of us connected to the uni Unity Grid are, um, are putting out there. You know, that's where the telepathic abilities are. As long as you're in your head, you're never going to get it. You're never going to hear it. You have too much brain shatter, too much connection to the illusion. The duality, the exterior illusion is duality. Um, duality is right brain, left brain. Um, 
you've got to get out of that. You've got to get into wholeness to really be able to touch the unity grid and the higher levels of consciousness and awareness and that which is really going on. And we are playing games that are so much bigger than our little selves. And just most people don't yet realize that. They're too hooked up into who they are and thinking that they are special and thinking that they're individual and that they know the way and they can teach the way and they can be the leaders. And it's not what this time's all about. This time is about everyone gaining their own mastery. And you don't gain your own mastery by what you read in books. You don't gain your own mastery by what you learn how to do with your hands and feet. You don't gain your own mastery by saying, yeah, I'm the best fighter out there because that's, that that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> you gain your mastery by going inside, by eliminating your identification with who you think you are. You're, you're not really losing your personality. As I go through this process, I'm not losing my personality. I'm losing the separation that makes Bill Ballard special. That separation was much needed to become the best possible fighter. That separation was much needed to really do some of the extreme things that I've done in this lifetime. And if you take a look at Bill Ballard's life, you'll see he's done some pretty wild stuff and there's very few people that can compare. But in Monora, my angelic self, my angelic self, my angelic name means Mana Ra. It doesn't mean that, That's my, that is my name. And it means love and light of the Divine Mother. Um, in that aspect, I start putting together all my lives, not just the earth lives, but all my other lives way before when I came here. And I've been through all earth cycles, the four previous worlds. And where people who've been through one cycle have maybe 2,500 lives, I've been through all four cycles. I'm in 10,000 lives or better. And I have that ability to call from that experience and those skills. Now, I don't want to act like that spiritual ego, but that's where we're all going. You're, you have the ability to call on all your skills that you've ever done. That's your Akash, but then you have the ability to call on the solar Akash, the galactic Akash, the universal Akash. This is all various levels of knowingness where all the experience that we've all ever done on those various levels goes into like a journal, a library, where you can draw from the whole thing. And that's where we're all going, is the ability to read those various levels, to know it all, because you are all that is. And you can stop off at any dimensional level of awareness but there's some of those that remember we can go all the way. All the way is not necessarily leaving this particular physical being that we're transfiguring and going someplace else. All the way is your connection to source from within. And um, I know that's a hard thing to grasp, <laughs> but um, that's the best way I can express it. Well, anyway, we're coming up on another minute before we finish the third video and um, I'm going to stop and uh, post these videos and then I'll come back and try to do a better description of what happened at the Star Knowledge Conference um, and gathering over the Venus Transit. And um, I know I said I would do that, but physically uh, I had to go through some stuff to be able to do these videos now. This has been really, really strong. 4411, right, as I said that. That's pretty interesting. Um, the energies have been really strong for even me to take. And uh, I know a lot of guys that are dealing with the highest possible energies. And um, it's the same with all of us. We're all going through the same things. Some of those of us that you might think the most pure, and of course, I'm not that. <laughs> um, some of those of us that you might think the most pure, we're all going through it. You know, In our remembering, we're releasing stuff, not just from this lifetime, but all other lifetimes. We're releasing stuff from the earth. The whole planet is going through this spiritual rock pressure, 
scenario. So anyway, four, three, two, one, I'm done. Bye.